All right, guys, here's the Natco Folding Ox 1099 on the Natco website. I'll throw a link in the description there. This is a 500 watt geared hub motor back there in the rear hub. Um, 52 newton meters of torque and five pedal assists. And it's got some nice cutout rims there on the back on these tires with that orange liner on there. It makes it look pretty sharp. There's no brake light on here, so just keep that in mind. It's a budgety bike. Here's your 10 amp hour battery on the back of the seat post there that slides in. There is a key for that. It's got some folding pedals to uh, help that uh, space saving. A uh, nice slim design. It's a pretty light bike. I'm not sure. It's probably around 60, 62 pounds, something like that. I'll try and check, put that on the screen for you. Uh, the handlebars don't fold because they're BMX style. But uh, you can see the folding mechanism there, the folding latch, the hinge. Uh, nice silver color here. Here's those uh, BMX handlebars. Very nice. I like those. Um, I feel kind of big on this bike, so I'm a six-footer. Uh, there's a nice wide saddle there. Pretty pretty wide for uh, what you get for a budgety bike. That's uh, one of the nicer uh, pieces on this thing. But it does, it does it, it's a smaller bike. It has a smaller footprint than I typically am used to. So... Uh, there's those cutout rims, uh, mechanical disc brakes. Uh, I'm not sure what the rotor sizes are. There's your front suspension, which is decent, not great. Headlight there. Um, I tried to put a fender on the front, which it came with. However, I couldn't get the screws to come out for the fender arms. So I just left it off for the meantime until I can try and get that on there. But uh, it's a good looking little e-bike here. That's, uh, you also buy it on Amazon as well. But uh, I do have a coupon code for the audience, uh, so you can take advantage of that. I'll put that on the screen. And uh, there's that little uh, screw X section there for the uh, folding arm on the fenders. Could not get it off to save my life for some reason. Uh, very small chain ring, and that's one of the, probably the biggest problem with this bike, which I'll talk about at the end. There's your, uh, there's your derailleur there, Shimano, typical. Pretty small chain ring there, freewheel. It's pretty comfortable overall. Um, 60, 61 aluminum frame. It's affordable as well. You can see the battery there. It's got a little handle on it with a fuse section. I'm not sure what the fuse is for. Never seen a fuse on, the, on an e-bike battery before. There's that folding mechanism. You just basically pop out the uh, latch and refold and then fold the bike from there again it's a good it's i like the styling of it it's a little small for my frame but um i, I just feel kind of tall on it you kind of sit pretty far forward over the handlebars um it's uh it's, it's pretty thin too if you look at it from a typical fat tire out there so definitely on the smaller side i think it would fit a person who's five two very easily because of that. Here's your cockpit with a black and white display, five level assist. It's got voltage in there as well, which is nice to see. The buttons are pretty small, a little hard to work with sometimes. Uh, there's a horn there as well. That green button is a horn, which is not too annoying. Uh, there's the mechanical disc brakes. Lock and grips as well, which you almost never see on a budget e-bike, so it's another plus. But anyway, let's take a look at it in action and get rolling. Alright guys, we're on this Natco Folding Ox. Yeah. Budget e-bike, I think it's around 99. I'll put the price on the screen, but uh, let's do some of the uh, performance tests on this thing. Alright, 
put this thing in PS1 and uh, see how we do here. PS1, we're doing eight miles an hour, almost nine actually, 10 according to this. PS2, we're going up to uh, 12 miles an hour. This is about 11 here. PS3, this is a 500 watt motor by the way. We're doing 13. PS4, we're up to uh, 15. Uh, this speedometer is about a mile off, mile power off. And finally PS5, still climbing here. There's 20. Yep, 20 mile an hour stop speed. Check out these brakes. Wow. So those are uh, mechanical disc brakes and uh, not the greatest in the world. Uh, what they stop, I did tighten them a little bit um, out of the box. They felt a little bit squishy to me. They're still a little squishy, but they do stop. Uh, it just takes a little bit longer than a typical hydraulic brake overall. So let's try this little hill test here and see how we do. There's a nice little uh, horn on this e-bike and nice locking grips for a budget e-bike anyway. And I like the thumb throttle here. Six speeds on the uh, Shimano shifter here. And uh, overall, the cockpit's pretty nice. I like this BMX style handlebar. Uh, I, just, I just love that. My phone fits nicely right in the middle here. And uh, you get the little side um, control panel here. Not the greatest implementation of that, but it's kind of way angled uh, on you. But uh, anyway, for a budgie bike, what do you want, right? So. All right, let's try a little hill test here. Throttle only up this moderate hill. See how it does. 500 watt motor again, so nothing to write home about. We're doing uh, 12 miles an hour, 10. Leveling out here. And another incline coming up. Yeah, it's doing pretty good. It's not too noisy back there. Push me up the hill, we're doing uh, 10 miles an hour now, 9.9 according to this, so that's a moderate hill there. I didn't take it on my typical test my uh, test hill for this one, but uh, you know, it's not bad. It's a budgety bike, it's not going to uh, win any awards here, but uh, it's still a little downhill coast and check out those brakes again, I'm still breaking them in. So. Uh, no hands. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it, you know, the brakes pull nicely. There's no screeching or anything. The bike, the bike feels pretty solid. It's a very small frame, though. I'll uh, show you the frame in a second, but uh, as we wrap things up here. It's pretty agile. I'm pretty, I feel big in this bike. Um, I have to lean back kind of just to get a better center of gravity on it. Uh, but it is a smaller frame, so I think someone who's, you know, 5'5 five, five and under would fit well on this bike. There's your Naco folding ox. I like the styling of this bike. It is, uh, it looks, it looks good on the road. Um, you got the nice cutout rims down there. Uh, 20 by four tires. Uh, nice silver paint job here. That BMX uh, handlebar is really nice. Uh, it just looks cool. It's swept back as well, right? So, you know, uh, very wide saddle. It's hard to find a wide saddle like this on a budget e-bike. Uh, my only complaint is that it's pretty slippery. It's uh, it's like faux leather back there, but uh, no uh, real tail light or anything. So you have to put your own on there, but they do give you a spot for one. Um, that chain ring is way too small. This bike has a lot of ghost pedaling. That's a really small chain ring. Uh, so if you do buy this bike, that's something I would definitely replace with a 48 or 52 tooth. And you should get a much better riding experience uh, while pedaling with this thing. Uh, the other issue I had was the I couldn't get the front fender on. There's a screw down here 
which I cannot get loosened. And that's where the uh, arm for the uh, fender goes. So on both sides, it's, it's locked in there tight. It's, uh, it's actually uh, just a regular screw, a Phillips head screw. But I could not get it off to save my life. So I gave up and just put the headlight back on the e-bike and left, left it for and left it like that. So, um, you know, the, the overall package, it's it, it's a good looking e-bike style wise, right? Um, uh, the charge port is right here uh, on the e-bike. That's something different. There's a QR code on there. I'm sure what the QR code's for, uh, but they, you have to have the key in it, I think. Um, and it does fold in the middle down here. So just leave that switch, flip it over. Should be pretty easy. Folding pedals as well. But that's your Natco Folding Ox budget e-bike. Um, you know, if you're a short person, something to look at. Uh, the seat goes pretty way down. Let's get you a look at that. I mean, that's got to be only, I don't know. It's not even, not even 30 inches, I don't think. So um, sits pretty low and... Uh, should be good for someone who's, you know, five foot, five two, five three, as well. So anyway, that's the e-bike, and uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time on Crisscrossed.